got the electric guitar out, so you know what this is. I don't expect many folk to like this shit. I'm saying that they are one of the biggest bands ever, but I know it's not fashionable to like Iron Maiden, but I couldn't give a fuck. Actually, you can take a big white bite out of my ass, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do a fucking belter, mate. This is the band I fell in love with, along with Guns N' Roses. You know, very different types of rock and roll. But this was one of the first bands I've got into. This Pacific, in a girl boy kind of way, is the first one I've got. I was eight, I was twelve years old, and she was a nun. Talking about pressure. But um, seriously, I was um, I wasn't really that was in the film. Um, <coughs> I was eight. I got this from the library on cassette, audio cassette, and I wore this motherfucker out. Don't let him wear it out right now, because it don't belong to him. And yeah, I had to take back to the library. I was Grand over this fucking tape. Slight exaggeration, all of that. I hope my friend Ruth may or may not want to hear this. She's been having some crazy fucking dreams lately, and I've had all that shit as well. It goes with addiction and mental health, like salt and pepper, awesome car, egg and fucking bacon. Um, so, yeah, this one's called Infinite Dreams. It's an incredible song. Think about well, this kind of music that a lot of people don't understand is it's beyond songwriting, man. The geezer, Steve Harris, that is responsible for most of the music, is a fucking, um, he's a composer, mate. He's a composer of music, beyond writing. <laughs> 